Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing... No, we're not going to be doing this eye makeup. Shocking, right? As you guys can tell by the thumbnail and also by the title of this video, we're going to be doing my face routine. This video is long overdue, like I haven't done one yet, I don't think. I mean, maybe I have, but that, that was probably like years ago. But girl, we, we did one. We did one. It's here. We're here. Yeah. Some of you guys have been waiting for this. I know people that have been asking me, like, personally, um, you should do one, you should do it, you should do one. So, like, here I am doing one for you guys because I love you guys, you know, like, whatever. Um, but, yeah, so I just did a full face routine to primer to highlighter, all of that, like, contour, bronzer. You get the gif. So, um, yeah yeah <laughs> so if you want to learn my flawless skin um foundation routine then just keep on watching is this the right way i don't know maybe this is the right way i don't know but just keep on watching all right guys so the first product i'm going to be using is this right here um this was a trend i would say like a makeup trend um nikki tutorials uh used this as her base like a primer for her foundation and it just like blew up and i don't even know if people still use this i still do because i it's a really really good way to prime your skin prep your skin for your foundation in my opinion it's just a really good way to do it um and it's really it's like really smart like who would have thought you know um so this is the Nivea men sensitive cooling post shave balm and I'm just gonna take a little bit a little bit goes a long way to be honest um this is my second bottle and I don't even know when she like made this a trend like maybe like two years I don't even know maybe yeah maybe two years I would say um maybe even longer to be honest so I'm just gonna take a little bit at a time like that much that might even be too much but you know we're gonna work with it i did do my skincare routine um i put moisturizer on a while ago so we're ready to go we're good and i'm just gonna let that dry um you don't want to apply your foundation right after you apply this because it's just not gonna look cute um i mean i haven't done it but i'm sure it's not gonna apply as good as it does when it's dry um because when this dries it gets tacky like you can see that my skin's sticking to it and that just creates a base for the foundation to stick to and um it just stays on all day and it's really really good so thank you queen of makeup naked tutorials but i'm gonna be using two other products for my face um this is the mac prep and prime skin base i totally forgot i had this like totally forgot i had it and i remember when i was putting it on like the first time i put it on i really loved it so i'm just gonna put this on my cheeks my forehead just really everywhere and i did not um apply this where my poor problem is i don't really have a poor problem it's not like oh my god like wow you need some help you know um i have small pores it's not really that bad but um i just don't like putting a lot of products on my pore area because it's just i don't want them getting clogged more than they already are you know but i'm gonna be taking this um benefit pore professional um primer and i am just gonna put that in my problem areas i do have I do have some pores on my chin and a little bit right here, but I just really focus this product around my nose and my under eyes. And this just really blurs out um, my pores. And whatever's left on my finger, I just take it on um, my chin and my forehead just to give, you know, a little bit more love to those areas. You don't want to apply your foundation right after um, you put all your primers on. Well, I at least wait um, like five minutes to put on my foundation um, or just um, press everything in with my beauty blender. Now my foundation, I kind of use two at the same exact time sometimes. Um, if I'm looking for more coverage, then I'll use two. But if I'm just going to be doing errands that day, I'll just go in with one foundation. Um, but this one, I love this one. This, this is honestly my 
favorite foundation that I've tried so far. Um, I'm still trying to like reach out for like other foundations, but this is one of my favorites. This is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation, the matte and poreless one. Um, I love this one and it's in the color Fair Porcelain 102. Love this foundation and sometimes like I said if I'm going for like a more full coverage look like if I'm going out to dinner with my family or whatever or having like a party I'll mix it just a little bit with this Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage up to 24 hour foundation in 110 porcelain. Yeah, handful, I know. In the beauty blender that I was using earlier for like the primers, um, I was using the Real Techniques beauty blender and I'm going to be using it for my foundation, my concealer, um, so yeah, and to set my under eyes and whatever. So I'm going to be taking this. So I'm just going to take my foundation and you know, just blend it, you know, like whatever. And then I'm going to go in with this right here. Um, sometimes I go in with this, sometimes I don't. Like, it really depends on how I feel. Um, same thing with the primers. Like, if I want to add that extra step, I'll do this. Um, but this is the Tentu um, Shimmer Bronzer. And, yeah, that's the shade Shimmer Bronzer. And it's just like a liquid bronzer. I'm just going to shake it. And then I'm going to grab this Lerma um, 103 brush and I'm going to grab that and put a little bit. This is going to look crazy. Okay, so just bear with me. So the concealer that I'm going to be taking is this right here. This is the Ramil London Lightweight Medium Coverage Concealer. Um, it says um, lasting finish 24 hour breathable concealer. So that's what it is. And it's in the color Light Ivory. And I just, this was a, a sponge tip and I just didn't like how it applied. Like it just, like the sponge was just soaking everything up. So I just took the sponge off so it look, looks like this. And I don't know how I feel about this. I love the coverage. I love the color. I just, I love this. It's so good. Um, but it's just, I feel like there's hardly any product in it. That's the thing. So I'm just going to take this and put some under my eye. Like nothing's coming out because like, I just feel like there's hardly any product in this. So now I'm going to set my face with this e.l.f. Perfect um, Finish HD Powder in Clear. And this is so good. It's so good in my opinion. Um, I just really like it. And I'm going to be taking this Walgreens brush. I don't know what it's called. I'm assuming powder brush. Um, but I'm just going to take that and just set my face. But not set my under eyes and my nose. So I'm going to be taking this IBI Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. I haven't used any of these colors under my under eyes. I usually go um, with this Profusion Contour Palette. And I usually just take my Beauty Blender and take these two colors. Um, and just pack it on. But I mean, this yellow is a little bit too yellow. And this is like perfect for me. Um, and I hardly have it. But this color and the Profusion color is very similar. So I'm going to go in with this. And, um, yeah, but I'm just gonna blend out my under eyes a little bit because I am creasing down there because I do crease. I mean, everybody does. It's just a thing that happens. That looks a lot better than the Profusion powder. 
And I am gonna set my nose like this. So now I'm gonna be grabbing this Mario Pedeschio spray, facial spray, the one with cucumber and green tea. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna, you know, drench my face. And then now I'm gonna actually do my bottom lash line um, and I will be right back with you guys. All right guys, so I finished my eyes. Now we're gonna move on to the face. Um, I'm gonna take this bronzer right here. This is the, um, the Balm Take Home the Bronzer. Anti-orange bronzer in Oliver. He's cute or whatever. He's kind of cute, especially for my skin tone. If you're more of like a porcelain kind of girl like me, this is really cute. <laughs> I really, really like this bronzer. And I'm just gonna, you know, bronze the face up. But I'm gonna be taking this contour. I mean, it's a bronzer, but like, I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay um, Waterproof Bronzer. And I'm just gonna take this and it's dark enough for me to be a contour like you could see like it's really dark So I'm gonna grab this Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush I don't use it for highlighter because it just makes that big old line and I don't I don't like that effect You know, I just don't like that. Um, but if you use this for highlighter good for you But I just don't like it for highlighter. I like it for contour because it really gets in there for you so I'm just gonna take that and really put that in there you know just really get in there now the powder I use to you know bake under my contour and bronzer um I have to look on the bottom because like yeah um but this is the maybelline new york shine free loose powder in light i really really like this powder um i've tried a lot of powders and i always get freaking dark powders i don't know why and i'm out of my airspun loose face powder so i can't really use that and that's like a perfect like i love that powder like so bomb but this is like really good powder also um so yeah and now to blush um where's my blush over here this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Feisty. And this is such a good blush. This is this is so pretty. I'm usually I usually go for like shimmer blushes, but if I'm going for a matte one, this is it. Like this is so good. So I'm gonna go with my blush brush, and this is the Fash Cosmetics um, blush brush, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that blush. And you know, I'm gonna really focus it back here, but I do like putting some on the apples of my cheeks. Um, now the highlighter that I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna be taking two. Um, this is the Catherine Natural Cosmetics um, highlighter and Sienna's highlighter. And I'm going to be taking that, it looks like this, it's a hot mess, I know, but I'm going to be taking that with this Wet n Wild Highlighter Powder in Blossom Blow. Also, this is a mess, I know, but they're just so good, and that's why they're a mess, you know? They're just really, really bomb, and yeah. Um, and then I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be taking that with this Morphe M510 brush. It's just this brush right here. And yeah, so that's how I do my face, like my face routine. I i don't think I've ever done anything like this, which is, this is long overdue. But like, I, yeah, I don't think I've done like a 
foundation routine maybe i did but like it's probably on private on my youtube channel like like years years ago like when i started my youtube channel which, which was three years ago so like yeah i don't i don't remember i don't recall doing a face routine but you know here we go here we are yeah um and yeah so sometimes i'll use different kind of highlighters blushes contours um it just really whatever um whatever i really want to go for that's what i'll go for but i think these products that i'm using today is my most used products but they're not my favorite because i just love all like the blushes the contours the bronzers the highlighters that i love but these that i put in this video and told you guys about like they're my most used products and if you're new um hit that subscribe button also hit that bell button so you're gonna notified if so time i upload a new video and you could be the first one to like comment and share that video that you got notified by but yeah so i don't know what else to say but i love you guys very very much and i'll see you guys in the next video Whew. bye